Okay, making sure the focus is good, good, perfect. YouTube, it's me, Rios, again. This time it's another tutorial um, video. This time it's going to be chopping samples on for the MPC 500 using a computer. Um, that because a lot of people have computers at their houses, they don't want to be trying to figure this little guy out. I mean, it's, once you figure it out there, it's okay, but it's faster this way. Um, this is the way I do it. Um, there's many other ways. That a lot of people use Recycle. A lot of people use um, Fruity Loops and uh, other programs like that. I use Acid, Sony Acid, and I also use Wave Editor, Wave Sound Editor, Wave Pad Sound Editor. That's the, it's a free program you can download. This is what the little symbol looks like, the Wave Pad Sound Editor. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a song, how I chop a song in here to save it for the MPC. I open the program up. That's what it looks like, Wave Pad Audio Editor. You can download it for free again. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to open my file where I have that song that I want to cut and make a beat out of. Oh, is that? Let me find it first of all. <coughs> okay, when you find the song you want to chop, it's going to load it up right here. It loads MP3s, WAV files. And the song I'm going to download, or actually doing, is called uh, Lady Blue by Stanley Cowell, I believe. And as a tree, I'm going to actually add this uh, MP3 file or a song to uh, to download so you guys can, you know, you know, chop the sample up, make a beat off your own. And I still got to get certain samples to certain people, so be patient, you guys. I'm going to find my records or get through them. Um, so here it is. Here's the song. Let me play it real fast. Let me just turn on the volume real quick. Yeah, let's see. It's very mellow, jazzy sounding. You can probably speed it up or slow it down or do whatever the heck you want with it. But pretty much what I'm gonna do for right now, I'm gonna highlight this this first part right here, this first section. I don't know. And when using this program, on the very bottom right, there's a um, there's a magnifying glass with the two lines behind it. You click on that one, it'll zoom right into that section. So what you can do, you can just uh, highlight that piece right there. Now I'm not gonna be able to do it right here because I you know, like I said I got time you know time against me and I can't really edit my videos because it's hard I have to convert the files. But you highlight the piece you want. You okay? Let's do that again. Highlight the piece you want. Let's say it's the piece you want. You right click, you copy it, and you'll go to File, New, hit OK, and you paste it. So you get that little sample that you just had highlighted. Now let's say that's the part you wanted. You you know that's the little slice you want. You'll close it. It's going to ask if you want to save the changes to Untitled. You hit Yes. Now in this next screen, uh, in the Save folder. Find it, you know, section you want to put, you know, save the file, make a new folder, call it whatever you want. I'm going to call this one Blue because the song is called Blue something. Um, I, I label it Blue, open that folder up, and save the WAV file. You know, it's going to save it as a WAV, it says save as type, WAV. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, label it something simple like B01, you know, that way it can match the, the folder it's in. And you save it. And once you save it, it's going to ask if you want to you know, com uh, uncompress, hit yes, and make sure it's 4400 uh, um, hertz and all that stuff, 16-bit mono. And pretty much you have a little wave sample of the file you want. Now, I already have you know, five little samples chopped up. Once you have that folder, you close this program, plug in your MPC, and when your MPC loads, uh, in the main MPC folder, Drag and drop that folder, that, that, that one I called blue, or whatever you labeled it. Drag and drop that folder. That way, when you load your MPC, when you turn it, when turn it on, I'm, I'm going to show you what, what you get. When you turn on the MPC after you load the, the files, if you disconnect the USB, you go to mode load, and make sure it's on load sample. <coughs> Excuse me. Load sample. Then you go to, the, this is the main folder for mine. I have, you know, a break folder. It actually starts right here. Um, I'm gonna scroll until I find that folder, and it's actually gonna be blue. You hit right, and this is the chops. So what I did, I preloaded them already. That way, I can save some time. 
and are too low, then you can just go back to one of my other videos or you just hit, um, you find the, let's say that's the sample you want, you hit do it, hit the pad you want, do it again. <coughs> Damn cough. Um, and you do your low some drums. This is what I have so far, you know. And let's say you don't want those to overlap, you hit remember, you go to mode load, I'm sorry, mode program. You go all the way on the top, it's going to actually be at the program select. You scroll all the way to velocity or voice overlap. You hit down, make sure it's in the, the right pad bay because you hit, mine's going to be an A. So. What I did, I went to the right, everything was on poly. I put everything to mono, every sample. Hit the, hit the sample, you, so you scroll right, make it a mono. And um, hit up again after you do that. And then you hit right, or turn it right once again, the wheel. Go to mute group. And you hit down. And hit the pad again. And you press right again, it'll be complete on the that one right there. Put it on two, it's actually normally on, on off. Put it on two, that way it won't overlap. And you can make a beat off of that. <coughs> Excuse me. I got a cold or something. So let's say you have that. And you let's see you want those to be sped up. Mode program again. And you go all the way up. Click on up right here. Go to where it's mute group. It's blinking. Go scroll all the way to sample tune. You can hit down, right, right. So it's blink on there. You can hit left again. That sample, you can speed it up. Or speed it down. Uh, just use your imagination. You can just do whatever the heck you want. Um, like I said, as I added bonus, I'm gonna add that that MP3 to <coughs> a download thing. That way, you guys can make your own beats off that sample. And um, again, the program's called WavePad Sound Editor. Try it out. And if you have any other questions, let me know. I will try to get back to you guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Good night.